Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Calistoga, California. We shall pray for the following intentions. We shall pray for Angela Vargas, Lucia Leonard, Lacido Garcia, Didi Virata, uh, Dee Franson, uh, Sharon Lacoyer, Frank Richards, Etta and Casey, Nico and Nina. We also pray in a special way for Roseanne uh, Craig, Mary Ellen Hester, and our OLPH Women's Club. We pray for all our loved ones who are sick, those with cancer, that the Lord may touch them and heal them right this very moment, wherever they are. We also pray for the repose of the souls of Ramon uh, Armamento, uh, Patricia Lavery, Elsa Ramos, and all our loved ones who have gone before us. We include uh, Chito Peret, and uh, that the Lord may open the gates of heaven for these souls, including those who are dying right this very second, and those who will die tonight. We include two uh, the poor souls in purgatory. Our prayers are powerful. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Blessed be the Holy Spirit and Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be your Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be your Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be your Glorious Assumption. Blessed be your Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. Holy God, we pray.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, Hail Mary full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Amen. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold, Amen. and made of the Lord. Hail Mary, Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word is made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Or for the beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace be for us. And the widow of the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, has made known the message of an angel. Made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, or without end. Amen. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, not the Son, but the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Even before we can come before God and ask forgiveness, He already sees our humility. And for the times that we have not been humble, let us just ask the Lord's forgiveness. And He wants to heal us, whatever it is that is preventing us to be humble. And we say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O God, our Father, at the urging of those whose love the martyrs, saints, perpetua and felicity, defied their persecutors and overcame the torment of death, grant we ask by their prayers that we may ever grow in your love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphans plea. Defend the widow. Come now. Let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your, though your sins be like scarlet, 
they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power. To the upright, I will show the saving power. To the upright and show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with you now, though you hate dis discipline and cast my words beyond you? To the upright I show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To, to the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken the seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry, and lay them upon people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All the works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation rabbi. As for you who do not be called rabbi, you have but one teacher, and you are all brothers and sisters. Call no one on earth your father, you have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master, you have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. And whoever exalts himself will be humble, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. My dear sisters, my dear brothers, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant, because whoever exalts himself will be humble, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. You know, I, I, I love the way we were taught humility in Carmel, and I'm speaking about 
the order of the Discos Carmelites where I received my formation. Um, the Carmelites always taught us that humility means, and this is according to St. Teresa of Avila, it's being truthful about oneself. And what is the truth about oneself? That we are nothing before God. Only by His grace, only by His love, can we be built up by this God who loves us. What for? Why do we have to have a solid self-image? Why do we have to know ourselves better? That God loves us because we have to serve in humility it is not us who we serve it is Jesus we serve as we reach out to the poor to those who are in need to those who lack love to those who search for love to those who need to be embraced and cared for we need to go back to our resources. And our inner resources, whatever we've got, all comes from God. It is by His love that we are able to serve one another in love, just like Jesus Christ. I remember many, many times over, <clears throat> as I reach out to our young people and they open up themselves. And sometimes <clears throat> I've been confronted with kids who have been bullied by their, by their classmates or even treated by their own parents or siblings like they were nothing. And so the image that they got is so small. But then they are able to rise. And some of them fight, fight for their own image so that they will be able to stand up and say, I am a good boy, I am a good girl. I am better than what others think I am. So when they are treated well, and so when they maintain a little popularity, sometimes they forget that they all need and we all need to be recognized. But when we get recognized, we get so inebriated. It's, it's like drinking. You drink a little, or it's like candy that you love to, to eat, and it, you're so satisfied with it. You want and crave for more and more and more. And so I tell the kids, wait, it is not the people who give you honor and who, who look up to you as somebody. Everything can change in an instant. But if you have a solid image because you are loved by this God who made you <clears throat> for who you are, <clears throat> then whatever happens around you, even they, though they look down on you and persecute you, you know that deep inside you, there is a God who loves you. And so you can smile and you can grow secure about yourself. And that, I think, is what Jesus is teaching us. Do not be so self-satisfied. Know that whatever it is that you receive from others, whatever power, prestige, popularity, they are all temporary, but the thing that remains is the love that God has for us, and that gives us security and good self-image. Nuestro ima nuestra imagen como hijos e hijas amadas de nuestro Señor es nuestra seguridad. La popularidad, el poder que tenemos como adultos 
son temporadas. Pero lo que tenemos dentro de nosotros, que es el amor de Dios, es para siempre. Y si tenemos este conocimiento que somos amados por nuestro Señor, ni persecución, ni mal entendimiento o mal decir, mal decir cosas o las burlas de nuestros seres queridos y nuestros eh, prójimo, nuestro prójimo. No se preocupamos porque tenemos una buena imagen que somos hijos e hijas amadas por nuestro Señor. Es nuestra, es nuestra, es nuestro poder, es la fundación de una imagen estable. En el nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. As the Lord is trusted in God's word, we trust that our prayers will be heard. For the church, in places of persecution, for strength to those being persecuted for Christ, even in our own times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice in every nation, for humane treatment of prisoners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For victims of oppression, for courageous resistance to oppressors, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the brokenhearted, for compassionate communities of believers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in this community of faith, for renewed hope in God's promises, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Father in heaven, thank you for sending us Jesus to be at our example in life, that as we serve you, we truly will have the heart of a servant like that of Jesus, humble and always looking deep inside oneself, the self-image of a beloved son or a beloved daughter of God. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made, and will be comforts our bread of life. Blessed be God By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of your hands, and be comforts our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lava de todo mi delito, Señor, limpia mi pecado. Pray, my dear sisters, 
my dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. As we joyfully offer our Lord this day's sacrifice, recalling the heaven sent victory of saints perpetual and felicity, we proclaim by you your mighty deeds and rejoice at having gained their glorious intercession through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, perpetua and felicity, poured out by Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and well to all holiness. Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them. So that they may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice again, he gave you thanks and praise gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. For their healing, 
but with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Perpetua and Felicity, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Together. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's come before the throne of grace and present to God all our needs. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously render peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Que la paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Now let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace to all of you. The past, the way past. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood. That did not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body and the healing remedy. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus who calls us to be like him, to serve others in humility. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
others have not received communion, especially those who have joined us online. So we pray together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Creo eso, Señor, que estás realmente presente en el Santísimo Sacramento del altar. Te amo sobre todas las cosas y deseo ardentemente recibirte en mi alma. Pero como ahora no puedo hacerlo sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente en mi corazón. Como si ya te hubiese recibido, te abrazo y me uno todo a ti. No permita, Señor, que jamás me separe de ti. Amén. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, save me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. me. Separate from you. Let me never be from the evil one. Protect me at the hour of my death. Call me and close to you. Bid me with your saints. I may praise, praise you forever, forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask God to give worthy grace, brothers and sisters, to his holy church. O oh God, we are the institutions to bless this parish, the diocese, the men priests, and brothers and sisters. We'll gladly spend your entire lives serve thy church and to make me known and loved. Bless our families. Bless our children. Choose for our homes those who are needed for thy work. Mary, Queen of the Virgin, pray, pray for, us. for us. Pray for our priests and religious obtain for us many more. Amen. Saint Michael, the honor of angel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you, we humbly pray, and to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits prowling about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. As we draw everlasting joys, O oh Lord, from our participation in the sacrament and from the memorial of saints perpetual and felicity, we humbly implore you that by your gift we may truly understand what you grant us to enact in diligent service through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is sended. Go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. In Immaculate Mary, your Thank you.